Hello, welcome to Motorcycle Adventure USA. The purpose of this video is to explain why I started the channel. Um, I grew up in a middle class family. My father was in the Navy. He was a machinist by trade. You know, he can make a part for uh, any type of machine. Uh, my father being in the Navy, you know, was interested in motorcycles, you know, and, and when he got out of the service, he rode frequently. Uh, my father would take me to poker runs, biker events, gatherings, uh, ever since I was about eight years old. And uh, my dad was the one who taught me to ride on Daytona Beach in Florida. And I believe it was a Honda 50 or something like that. And um, by the age of 16, um, I was into motocross racing. I had a Mako 400. And uh, I wasn't really that great at it, but I had a lot of fun. And uh, But to go back a bit, you know, my father's brother, my uncle, he was a master auto mechanic and custom chopper builder. And as far as I know, and as far as legend has it, he was the first person on the East Coast to uh, fabricate Springer front ends from scratch on the lathe in the garage. And, you know, I used to work in the garage from time to time, you know, until I was about 10 or 15, cleaning parts and helping out around the shop in the uh in the late 60s, you know, and early 70s, there were a lot of one percenters at the shop. Obviously, you know, they were the ones with the uh, passion and desire to own custom motorcycles with real long front ends. And my father, he thought they were uh, ridiculous. He thought they were absolutely dangerous. And uh, my uncle, on the other hand, he was on the cutting edge of the MC culture and I come from the East Coast, and at that time, uh, there were a couple of 1% clubs, and if you know the East Coast, you probably know who they are. They've been around since the late 50s, early 60s, and also being a musician at the time, both my uncle and my father, they wouldn't let me work in the shop. They used to tell me, oh, you're going to cut your fingers. Ah, stay away from that. So, uh, cleaning parts after a while became a drag, actually, really. So, you know, when I was uh, about 16 years old, I took my driver's test on my father's full dress FLI Harley Davidson. And, uh, man, the guy couldn't believe it. He goes, Where's your other bike? I said, No, I don't have it. So, little to say, um, I passed the course. <laughs> well, at that time, the uh, the one percent crew was really getting wild, and my father didn't. You know, he did everything he could to keep me away from that lifestyle, but I was always drawn to it. Um, so after many events with my dad, I decided music was just as exciting and not as dangerous as the one percent lifestyle that I admired so much. So. You know, there's been a lot of controversy about the one percenters, and I'll just say in all my years of riding 40 plus on the street here in New Jersey, and even now there are more one percent clubs in the area, and I've never had a problem. So take that for what it's worth, you know, it's my opinion, I'm talking from the old school days, I don't know what it's like today, but back then... You dedicated your life to motorcycles if you were a one percenter. You, that was all you did. However, you know, all my life I've been part of the 99. And I, I enjoy going to charity runs and biker events. And I figured since I have a music education channel, why not start a channel on my other passion in life, motorcycles. Um, during my touring years as a musician, I did take time off from the motorcycle life and I really didn't have too much time to ride. I didn't I didn't even own my own motorcycle. I, I just always rode my father's whenever I was in town. You know, whatever bike he had at the moment. And uh, my uncle, he was a hell raiser. And my dad made was sure just the opposite. He was clean and road safe. You know, he made sure I acquired the skills from a young age. And, you know... I'll never forget him for teaching me about the lifestyle and all of the good times we had together. Rest in peace, Dad. 
I think of you every time I get on my bike. Every single time I get on my motorcycle, I think of my dad. If it wasn't for him, I would have missed out on a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Anyway, I don't want to go down that road. And Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, who I am, what's going on, and things behind my channel. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And uh, I'll be putting out all kinds of video content of, you know, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not a Harley expert, but I've been riding all my life, and uh, hopefully I can bring some joy to some people who maybe can't get on a motorcycle or maybe can't get to these certain events, and uh, I'll cover them, and I hope you enjoy them, and I hope you like and subscribe, and until next time, peace. Safe out there.